Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 27th of 2024 is titled Protostellar Outflows in Serpents. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a close up image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. So we're starting to see some of the detail that it is able to bring and some of the improvements over other telescopes, both here on Earth and in space, and the amazing resolution that it's able to give us. In fact, we're zooming in here to a frame that is only about one light year across. And we can see a lot going on just within that one light year. Now a light year is a great distance 10 trillion kilometers. But the nearest star to Earth is over four light years away. So what we're seeing here would fit between Earth and the nearest star very easily. Now one of the things we're looking at are outflows. Now when stars start to form they collapse under their own gravity until they heat up inside enough to be able to start generating energy. Before they're able to produce energy through nuclear fusion they're called protostars. They're not quite stars yet. And in fact the definition of a star a true star would be something that is producing energy through nuclear fusion. So the protostars are getting to that point. But as they form, they form disks of material around them. So the a lot of the material collapses to the star, some of it into a disk. What would that disk be doing? Well, likely forming a planetary system. We now know that planetary systems are very common in the universe. So they're probably forming planetary systems and perpendicular to that often jets of material are sent out from the central regions. So as material inflows in toward the star some of it gets expelled outward. And if you look around here you can see many different jets of material almost lines points of material that are stretching out in a direction going roughly from upper left to lower right. So they're all aligned something astronomers thought would happen but now is able to be confirmed with the detailed images from the Webb Space Telescope. Now we also see a number of other things so the stars that we see here are not a part of this nebula. The stars with that distinctive diffraction pattern going through them are actually foreground stars. They're in front of the nebula. And you have to remember we don't see the three dimensional aspect of space when we look at things like this. Some of these objects are in front, some are behind, and others could be associated with the nebula itself. Without further measurements, it's not something that you can easily tell just by looking at the image. So the stars in this case are in the foreground and the nebulae are further behind with all of those jets of material. Now these stars will calm down as they start to form and as the material flowing inward lessens and the star starts to finishes forming and the, the planetary system starts to form then we will start to see these jets diminish. So these outflows will start to slow down and then eventually stop. Now we'll never notice that over our lifetime we could have to come back in hundreds of thousands of years to be able to see any kind of changes like that. But eventually they will settle down and leave us just the individual stars here. So this is likely a formation process that many stars go through including perhaps our own sun in its very early stages of formation billions of years ago. So that was our picture of the day for June 27th of 2024. It was titled Protostellar Outflows in Serpents. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Olber's Comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.